This is the ballroom, and this is where we have the beauty pageant every year. And you can see they already decorated everything with the sponsors' gifts, and it's gonna be a very busy night. Every year in August, we're one of the co-organizers of the Miss Chinese Beauty Pageant. But tonight is the final at Mohegan Sun, means we will pick the winner to compete in Miss Chinese International. We have been very lucky and also we had we won five years in a row. So this year we're actually very looking forward to it. So hopefully we can pick the girl to represent New York and win again next year. So it's quite a large event um, in the whole Chinese community. Hi! We try to build very good relations with the Asian community and let them know we uh, welcome everybody and also we give back to the community. It's a routine for me when I come in. The first thing is to check the venue, check everybody and see if everything's okay. And then I know like, like say when we go to the um, interview place, I think it's too much echo. So we need to make sure um, they have the um, audio ready for that. Tonight, I have to interview one of the famous singers from Hong Kong. When the artist is here, where do you want she to, to stand? Uh, let's just put her toes on the edge of the rug there so she doesn't get any shadow on the backdrop. Because the celebrities that we interview are very famous, actually, we want to make sure before they walk into the room, um, we are ready. This is new. We didn't do this last year, so yeah, this is something that we haven't done this year's past. pre function area. Yep. More Before. of a private area. Yes. And what time are they letting guests in? Around 11 o'clock? 10.30, one hour before the show. One I still got a couple yeah. more things to do before the show starts. I have to take uh, Ray, our general manager, to the judge table. Yeah, we actually changed it a little bit because we pushed the uh, start time earlier this year. A lot, yep. Yeah, um, instead of 1 a.m., we start from 11.30. Yep. Ray is a veteran judge. He has been um, judged for the pageant girls uh, for the couple of years. So um, I, I'm pretty sure he will do a very good job, but we need to make sure um, he knows how what the rules are and who to look for. So everything's ready, it's set up, yep. ready to and go. And they added some of the Leon, you can see the Leon colors and also the lights. Yep. They can do that too. The stage looked amazing. I like the lighting and it's actually a very big stage. Before the show starts, when they were doing the makeup, it's a good time to walk in the makeup room um, to say hello to the girls, say hello to the makeup artist. Okay. Diamonds. It's real diamond? <laughs> wow. We have some of the previous um, winners and first run up and second run up. So they will all wear the crowns later when they go on the stage. That's why you see more than three crowns here. We have a couple of winners here. That's why later on when we're doing the photo op, you'll see all the girls in pretty gowns and heels and makeup and hair and crown. Yeah, it's, look, it's gonna look great. It's such a glamorous uh, event and all the people look so gorgeous. Um, I was trying to challenge myself and try to wear heels for eight hours. This is probably the, um, the only time tonight I will have time to eat, so I need to grab a bite before everything starts. One thing that I wish I did um, was to have that experience of in the pageant. I think it's a very good um, experience, a very good lesson for the girls. That's one thing that I wish I had when I was much younger. Does it look like I'm gonna eat all these food by myself? <laughs> I can't wait to see their evening gowns. Every year the evening gowns were so gorgeous. Tonight we have the singer from Hong Kong and her name is Vivian Lai. Sorry, I mm. uh, okay. I saw that there was something wrong with her earrings um, when we tried to mic her, and uh, it makes me super nervous because I, I was hoping everything would go as smooth as I thought, uh, which obviously it didn't, but which is fine because you know things happen all the time. Uh, Hello, 
I have never met Vivian Lai before. Actually, I was very happy to learn that she's a very nice lady. We have a pre-function um, cocktail party. We would invite the celebrity to take photos with the VIPs. We had a lot of people, a lot of cameras, uh, a lot of photographers, a lot of guests. And uh, it's actually very nice to see that we have a lot of people coming tonight. Um, it's also very nice to see a lot of the previous pageant girls. Um, and you can see they all look very nice. Oh, I can't feel my feet. <sighs> I think I'm going to change to flat soon. <laughs> I was quite relieved when the interview was over because I have to run to get other things done. <laughs> I just can't feel my feet. <laughs> it's okay. I I'm fine. All right, let's go. Wait, it's almost 11. Why are the door is still not open yet? What happened? Good question. Do you know not why that we're quick enough, sorry. Do you know why we're not open the door yet? It's almost 11. Yeah, they should open. So are we Everybody supposed to open? Going, yeah. They don't know. People aren't telling them. Yeah. Yeah, them yeah that's why I'm here. If anybody's here, you tell them they can go in. There was a little um, communication issue. Um, so I'm glad I cleared that out and asked them to start the show right away. You guys get excited. Tonight's the night. You all look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. I don't worry about the girls because I know they will do a fantastic job. Um, I think this year the show is very entertaining. I love the LED wall. I love the talents that they show on stage. Welcome everybody to the 2019 Miss Chinese Beauty Pageant Finals. I'm your host for tonight. I'm Jack Chow, and this is my partner, Ms. Sylvia Yang. The magic or the amazing thing about this competition is um, you never know who's going to win until the very final, final announcement. That's why it's you know very interesting to watch like 12 to 14 girls show their talent and show their knowledge or you know their personality. We had a winner this year. She quit her job to just come to the pageant and do this. So I said, you know, why, why you come? And she said, uh, I always wanted to come to the pageant when I was younger. And if I don't come this year, I might never do it anymore. It's really a lot of dedication and um, a lot of sacrifice, you know, because she quit her job. So I'm really glad at the end she went. I see so many girls come in as like girls, like so shy to talk, so shy to present themselves. But then at the end of the pageant, they were like a totally different person. They're so confident to talk on stage um, in front of cameras. And um, I was just thinking, hmm, like maybe one day I will have my daughter to do this.